Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. I've got a fun video today coming at you with some sterling irons made by Tom Wishon Golf. Um, they are single length, single lie. So we're going all a bit Bryson DeChambeau on you. I've got the clothes, so I'm gonna have a go with the clubs. These aren't the clubs he used, but it's a similar idea. So not his lie and his length, I'm not quite sure exactly what they are, but they are single length, single lie irons. So every club is the same length, every club is the same lie. So in theory, I'm gonna stand one way with all the clubs and hit it. Let's show you what kind of numbers I got with these clubs as well, because I'm intrigued to see distances and actually what it does to my mind, because for those of you who don't know, uh, each iron that you have in a set is a different lie and a different length. They're stepping up longer and shorter in a different lie, so you're adjusting to each one. These are all the same. Let's get stuck in. So we've got the Sterling Clubs made by Tom Wishon. Anyone who doesn't know who Tom Wishon is, just look it up online, search that name. Um, he is a master club maker. He knows everything there is to know about custom fitting and making clubs. He's been making clubs for years. And he has got this set released um, where they're one length, one lie, around the same ideas that you're seeing from Bryson DeChambeau on tour. Now his clubs, like I say, are quite brutalized. Um, these are maybe a little bit more of a gaming uh, set for most people. So I have got a seven iron length and lie on every one of these clubs. When you go to the long irons, you've got high COR design on the long irons. So five, uh, six, I'm only going up to five iron because I stop at a five iron, six iron, seven iron, um, high COR. So they're trying to max that kind of rebound off the face because you're losing length on the club to make, make sure they go the right distance is what we'll test and what they're saying. Then you go soft steel as you go into the lower irons because obviously they're longer so they might go further to try and make sure the stepping of distances between the clubs are the same. Now I'm really intrigued to see what these feel like so we're going to hit some I'm going to show you some numbers as well. I mean down by the ball the set is very nice looking little bit of offset medium uh, top lines quite big face down by the ball so quite a friendly set of clubs. I think, you know, any standard of player could use them. Um, maybe not if you're like a true blade player, you might want something a little prettier, but you know, they're good looking, slightly cavity backed irons. Um, we have a really interesting idea of how to play the game. I mean, I've taught golf for years, and it didn't take me long as a young coach to realize things that I take for granted, students needed to be told. And one of the biggest things that stick in my mind are kind of really self-discovering as a coach, was taking a student from a seven iron to a driver and back to a seven iron, they would always kind of top the seven iron once after they'd hit their driver. Now I know the driver's not gonna be the same length as these, but it made me realize you actually have to teach students, certainly beginners, the transition between the different lengths of clubs. It's something I've never even thought about when I was a young player. You know, I wouldn't even, I'm just, I wouldn't even notice that I'm using a shorter iron or a longer iron. It wouldn't kind of register in my head. It's just what it is. Where students, certainly new golfers, you had to kind of remind them that this iron's short, you're gonna have to stand maybe a bit more down for it, make sure you get the club lower, those kind of things. Well, obviously this would kind of take that away. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with a five iron actually. And that, I tell a lie, I'm going to start with a pitching wedge. Um, so the lower iron. So very funny when you put the lower irons in your hand to start, because it does feel quite long. This is a pitching wedge. And when I hit the shots, it feels a little bit long. But because I'm staring at loads of loft, it actually doesn't bother me that it feels long. It feels very solid of the face. It feels as solid as any iron, to be honest, I've ever hit. Quite a nice soft sound and feel with that one. Um, you do feel like, uh, like I say, you do feel the length on this, but it's just the loft. You stay under that loft, it really doesn't bother me that the club is longer. I do feel like I can still make half swings and what have you with these. I feel, feel like I could grip down to the pitching wedge. I still feel like I could find a distance, not a problem. If I wanted to come down and hit a, uh, a shorter shot, absolutely feel that is very, very doable. So if we go up to the seven iron, seven iron feels no different because the seven iron um, is exactly the same as my seven iron. It's built to my seven iron specs. It was the last one I pick up there. Um, so if I go to the seven iron, this is now just feeling like a regular seven iron because everything's built around these specs. Feels nice on the length, looks good down by the ball, off the face. Slightly louder sound as you go into the seven because it is the higher COR, so it's got that kind of more springier face. It does make a bigger ting. 
than the shorter iron, which is the most standout, noticeable thing, but absolutely feels fine, gameable from the pitching wedge to the seven iron, no problem. It does make it, you have to get used to that ping. It is a sound, it doesn't bother me, but I think a few people hit it, it'll be like, whoa, that's louder. Now this is the interesting bit. Really interesting for me. I go to the five iron, I never thought about this when I thought about single length clubs, and it's actually quite obvious once you start hitting. The five iron's really short. Um, it just feels a bit strange at the beginning. You feel like, what am I gonna do with this? It's not, it just feels like a seven iron, because obviously that's the length but a no lofted seven iron. But as I keep hitting them, so again, this makes that sound because it's got that ping sound because it's got the higher COR head design on the higher irons or the lower lofted ones. It feels really easy to hit. It's a six and set, uh, five iron. I think if I had a four iron, actually feel much easier than conventional clubs because they're shorter. So it's the top end of the club uh, of the set of clubs that make you feel like you're actually cheating a bit. And it does, as you go through the set, for someone who's never worried about different length and lie clubs for me personally, I wouldn't even blink between it and a nine iron to a seven iron particularly. But as you go through this single length set, you do feel like you are just setting yourself in one position and you do feel like you are just making one action. It, it feels very, very simplistic. And I don't see a problem in simplicity in a game that is so complicated. And I think certainly for people who are looking for maybe improved strikes, this might help. Having one length, one line, just getting used to one action. Um, people who want to improve the consistency of their strikes, those kind of things. You know, we've got, it's kind of one weight, one lie, one length, one kind of balance point, everything is one. You will get used to your irons, is the theory. And when I first heard about Bryson's irons, I kind of just thought, you know, we're we not overthinking this. I mean, I've, I really never struggled going from a six to a seven iron in my life ever. But as I hit these, to be honest with you, this is, I'm maybe kind of almost the most excited I've been about a new set of clubs for a long, long time. It's, um, yeah, I'm really intrigued. Look, let's look at the gappings. I've got some real ball data. If the gappings are right on them, you know, they totally, totally really make sense to me. So the gappings on these, obviously this is the big key for me because trying to get, um, the five iron just doesn't feel like it's gonna be long enough at that length in my head because it doesn't feel long enough in its physical length. So look, gap wedge, 106, topping out at 110, exactly where my gap wedge sits. Pitching wedge, 117. Then that's pretty much where my pitching wedge sits, about 125, and I've got a 123 in there, and then two shorter hits, misstruck. Nine iron, 132, topping out at 134, exactly where my nine iron sits. Eight iron, 142, topping out at 146, and my eight iron is around a 150 club at a push, exactly what that's saying. Seven iron, 158, so I would be 160 to 165 with my seven iron in my head. I'm a 161 on a good strike, so if I hit the seven iron hard, I'd get that 165. Stepping fine. Uh, six iron, 165, uh, topping out at 166. Six iron around 165 to 170 for me. Absolutely, it's in there. Um, and the five iron topping out at 180, 179, I got one dropping down at 173 and a slight miss hit, averaging at 177. The stepping is fine. The club's clever. From the COR design down to the soft steel design, you are getting very good gaps. And I do feel like I can stand in one place, swing on one angle, make one action. It really feels quite simple in my head. I could see very much new golfers coming to this and totally getting it, like totally making sense to them. And like anyone who, I would love to test these irons on people who are struggling with strikes through their irons. It'd be very interesting. Obviously I've seen no data on this because this is kind of so new. I will do some tests on students. These are gonna stay kind of in my teaching bay, I think. Um, a really interesting concept. I'm quite excited by them. I'm tempted to take them out on the golf course and give them a go. Um, yeah. Has Bryson kind of got it? Has he, has he kind of made sense of maybe what is a very complicated game? Or just that little bit. Post comments down below, what do you think? Same length, same lie. Would you give it a go? It, they're intriguing me. They really are. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.